Hello students, these are your instructions for your Harriet Tubman uh, and Underground Railroad final project. Go ahead and follow along in your booklet as I go over uh, the instructions for your final project. First of all, before um, we start discussing what's inside your booklet, uh, please write your first and last name neatly and uh, large enough that I can read it on the very uh, front cover on the label that I put on the front cover. So first and last name on the label that's on the front of your project booklet. All right, now go ahead and open up to the very first page, page one. Page one is gonna be your title page. This is where I wanna see some creativity, um, some uh, either just, uh, I don't know, some drawings or graffiti or a cool looking bubble title, whatever. Create a cool looking title for your project here. This will be done um, when you finish your assignments a little bit early, uh, or you can work on it at home as well. So go ahead now and turn to page two. Page two uh, and three look like the following. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at page two. Follow along with me while I read you the instructions. Directions, show you under your understanding of what we studied about the Underground Railroad and apply it to a fictional narrative. Use the text Harriet Tubman Guide to Freedom to imagine you are one of the characters in the story. Complete a series of six diary entries. That should be one page for each entry. Go ahead and cross off the half page and put in one page. It's a one page entry. Now, point of view is going to be first person. You are going to be a character in the story. Option one, choose to be an escaping slave on the trip with Harriet Tubman. Give yourself a name. Decide if you have a family, how old you are. Option two, choose to be Harriet Tubman leading the group of escaping slaves. Be sure to include how it feels to be responsible for helping people escape. The format, begin your diary with an introductory statement about your state of mind and your feelings, whether you're the, an escaping slave or Harriet Tubman helping to, people to escape. The body of your diary entries will provide information about events, people, conditions, and hopes or plans for the future, including a description of the environment as needed. Keep in mind though, you're not making up your very own story. You are basing it on events in Harriet Tubman Guide to Freedom. Your conclusion will end with a final remark concerning the time you are writing about. Include your thoughts or feelings about your current situation. Here's your timeline. Uh, you'll receive extra credit for meeting daily page checks. I'll be checking each day that you have completed the previous day's assignment. You will earn extra credit if you meet all of those page checks. If you have everything turned in every single time on time. Day one, your project Project introduction. Uh, this is where you will be brainstorming and planning. That's today's assignment. I'll be checking it. Day two, diary entry number one. Day three, diary entry number two. Then on day four, we will pause and have a partner read and provide input. That's right, one of your classmates will be reading your entries and giving you feedback. Day five, you're gonna do two diary entries. Day six, you will do two diary entries. Day seven is your final read through and edit. And then day eight uh, is the final reflection. The assignment is due at the end of the period on day eight. Keep in mind, I reserve the right to adjust these dates based on what I see the class needs or other things that come up. However, even if you are absent, say on day three, well, you know what to do on day three. You need to get diary entry number two completed. A copy of the story will be available on Schoology for you to reference if you need it. Content and grading, 50 points for length and connection to story, and 50 points for creativity and description of one selected entry. So I'll look at your overall project for how it connects and are you meeting the daily page requirements. And then I will look for creativity and description in one selected entry. I expected to have six entries total, um, and it's based on chunking of the story or sections of the story. Use the information in each segment of the text for your diary entry. Vivify your entries by adding personal details of uh, your character. 
Entries will be graded based on minimum length requirements, inclusion of facts in the story, and your creativity in telling it. So those are your overall instructions. Now let's go to your brainstorm on page three. On page three, on page three, uh, this is your instructions for what you will do to start thinking about your story. The page describing your character. How old are you? What is your name? Uh, what are your strengths? Uh, what are your weaknesses? Uh, what are your fears? Notice I changed the point of view on those questions. That is not good. But anyway, so um, just giving an overview, try, starting to kind of think about what kind of character. How old is your character? Old, young, male, female? Um, if you're doing Harriet Tubman, you can kind of guess her age based on her biography. When was she born? That kind of stuff. Um, half a page will have a description of how your character changes from the beginning to the end of the story. Um, what's an important life lesson? That goes on page four because there's not enough room to do two half pages. So notice that each of these entries is half a page. So the blue arrow there is showing you the length for one entry. I want a half of a page. And those of you with really big handwriting, uh, you're gonna get marked down if you're only having two or three, possibly four, even five words on a line. That is just lazy. Write smaller um, or write more. Write more than half a page, right? you know, three-fourths of a page, and I won't mark you down. But if you are writing less words than someone else with regular size handwriting, that's not fair. Okay, so on page three, uh, you're going to write half a page describing your character. Remember, your story is based on the events in Harriet Tubman, Guide to Freedom. So you can't write a story about, you know, a slave escaping on a ship and going to Spain or France. Okay, that's not the story Harriet Tubman Guide to Freedom that was about escaping to go to Canada mind about your character all right go ahead and turn the page <clears throat> on page four notice that I'm marking for you again the other half page so a lot of students get confused and only write uh, a half page total you're writing basically a full page a half page on describing your character and then a half page on how your character changes and what they learn by the end of the story. I do not want simplistic life lessons like they learned how to escape from slavery. That's not how you grow or change as a character. What makes a character interesting is the process of them growing and changing and learning about life. So think about things like perseverance, uh, taking risks, overcoming challenges, um, overcoming fear, um, helping others, that kind of thing. Those are life lessons. All right, so that's what you're really working on today. Now, to give you a little overview of where we're going with this, look at page five. On page five is the beginning of your actual diary entries, which will start on your next school day. Diary entry number one is uh, where you're going to look at the story and you're going to read from the beginning of the story uh, to through paragraph eight, which is starts with once she had made her presence known. <clears throat> so you read that section, and then what you do is you stop and you think about your character and what they would be experiencing in that part of the story. And then you're going to write two to three paragraphs establishing your setting, your first person point of view, and your character's feelings about escaping or helping others escape. Use correct writing skills in a mixture of simple, compound, complex, and complex compound sentence structure. Use details from the passage to make your story interesting. So, two to three paragraphs. I want to see indenting, and I don't want to see you running uh, your words off the end of the page. There are margins to keep you from doing that. That's what your red margin lines are for. So stay within the margins, but do indent your paragraphs and use good writing skills. Go ahead and turn the page. You'll notice page six. This space is for you to continue your diary entry if you want to. Keep in mind it has to be one full page, which is page five. But if you want to go on to page six, that's perfectly fine. In fact, it could be helpful for getting an A, because the minimum, which is a level C, entry, like to get a C, you write one page. Less than one page, you're not going to get a C. Uh, you cannot go past 
page six, though, you cannot have your first entry be five or six pages. You do have to limit it. Because if you look at page seven, beginning of diary entry number two, which goes from page nine through page 19 of the story. And again, you are writing two to three paragraphs in that page. Notice again the arrow showing you how long a page actually is. I don't want to hear any complaining because these pages are much smaller than a regular piece of binder paper. So it is actually not an astronomical amount of writing I'm asking you to do here. That's the end of your instructions. Uh, go ahead and begin working on your brainstorming pages. Once everyone has finished the video and I see everyone's working on the brainstorming pages, uh, I will stop the class and see if anyone has any questions. But until then, go ahead and start working on your brainstorming pages on pages three and four of your workbook.